In the last two decades, U.S. consumption of imported foods has grown by 80 percent, and the nation's imported food requirements have grown and changed along with that. With TAG now having expanded into India, we take a look at what this growth in both U.S. consumption and its regulations means to India food exporters. I'm your TAG Talks host, Lisa Lupo. Today, I'm talking with TAG Food Safety Director Ranjit Klar about U.S. food imports from India. Good afternoon, Ranjit. Good afternoon, Lisa. How are you? I am doing just great. We're happy to have you with us today. Thank you. Same here. So, Ranjit, why is it critical for India food exporters to know and understand the food regulations of the countries into which they are importing food, particularly the U.S. and Canada? Yes, Lisa, that's a very good point uh, because we are uh, right now in the in the world of global food uh, uh, consumption, where food is coming from all over the world, and uh, India is one of the largest uh, exporter of uh, several products. Uh, for example, shrimp, seafood, spices, and other ingredients, and uh, they must follow the stringent rules and customer requirements of the countries where they are sending the food uh, products to. So, for example, FDA, United States, uh, we have a Food Safety Modernization Act, and um, and these countries uh, where the uh, food is going to be consumed, which is United States, and also I will include Canada in it too, uh, where uh, the modernization of regulations happened, and there was several uh, new changes happened towards the risk-based approach of food safety, food handling. So it is very important for India exporters to um, or anybody who's exporting for, from the foreign countries to United States and, and Canada must follow stringent regulations and the, and the nuances of the regulations um, in the light of the, 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 the modernization in terms of risk-based uh, emerging pathogen organisms uh, handling uh, and also to uh, stop the foodborne illnesses, uh, which are uh, reported in the, in the form of recalls in, in the in United States and Canada. Uh, and that's why it's very, very important for uh, the exporters from other countries. And typically for today's uh, tag talk, we are focusing on India. So Indian exporters uh, must be very, very aware of the changes in the regulations. You mentioned the modernizing of these regulations. So I take it that means that they continually change. Yeah, it's not, not only the regulations are changed in terms of what we used to have in terms of Food and Food Drug and, uh, and Cosmetics Act and with now preventive control uh, for human foods and animal foods uh, rules of FISMA. And whereas in Canada, we have a Safe Food for Canadians Act and regulations. So uh, under those new regulations, the, the authorities are having the right to inspect imported foods at the border uh, or at the port of entry. And uh, they have the right to refuse the imports if they found any pathogenic uh, contamination or any kind of foreign material contamination or any kind of labeling violations and mostly any allergen, undeclared allergens are noted either in the testing or the labels are not adequately declaring the required uh, uh, requirements of allergen declarations. So importers are uh, having a huge responsibility to make sure their product is fully compliant from the food safety by making sure it's free from contaminants of microorganism standpoint, as well as from physical contamination uh, standpoint before they sell uh, to the United States and Canada. And FDA and CFIA has a right to, to hold the product, to refuse the product and, and detain the container, as well as in some serious conditions, it can detain the entire region, the entire country from bringing the product inside the, the country if they found a repeated violations happening in multiple times. Okay. So it sounds like it can get rather complicated sometimes. So how does TAG assist India businesses in these areas? So it's a, we are in a very good position in terms of TAG because we have expertise. Uh, we are an extensive team of uh, 
uh, uh, several uh, subject matter experts, uh, well-qualified team with many of them are PhDs in our team. And um, we have microbiologists, toxicologists on our team. So TAD has an expertise and resources to assist any food safety concerns related to any sorts uh, with a broad spectrum. And we can definitely assist exporters um, for, the foreign, for the foreign standard compliance and regulatory compliance standpoint. And here I can say how tech can help for India specific is because we have uh, expanded our team uh, by having a dedicated team of food safety specialist in located in India at the local regional time, as well as myself uh, who has the uh, knowledge about North American regulatory and food safety requirements of the governments as well as customers. And also I have the cultural connection with India. So I think uh, this is a perfect time to actually offer the services of a tag to, to India exporters of food. And, and we can assist in several different um, aspects like um, import alerts. So we can have the some, uh, ex we can have the assistance given to uh, the exporters by working on the FDA with work with working sorry working with FDA on follow-ups and corrective action recommendations for DWPE and import refusals and there are many more Lisa just let me know if you have any other question otherwise I can carry on my rest of the list I can save that I can help okay why don't you go ahead and tell us a few of these other areas? <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> that, that's good yeah, so the second, uh, like one of the one is import alert and second is FDA on-site inspections and warning letters are issued a lot. So we are at TAG are actually maintaining a, a kind of our own database by based on the FDA import refusals and import alerts uh, that what are the main key concerns of the uh, from the exporters are coming from different countries and in this case, um, India is specific. What are the different products that are coming with the uh, issuing of the uh, some concerns? And sometimes we do hear from the clients that they have they've been issued 483 letter or warning letters from the in FDA because they have on-site inspection. So TAG has an expertise right local at the grounds in India as well as remote uh, assistance from uh, our broad range of experts to provide uh, to participate in the FDA inspections on site in okay. India as well as um, giving them recommendations and corrective action to close the, the, the requirements, the compliant, non-compliances and give submit the response to FDA. Okay. And we can, Lisa, we can also do, um, we can also write some uh, like import, uh, related to import uh, alerts, if there is any petition need to be written, which requires a food safety specific follow-ups. Uh, TAG has done successfully those, those uh, few of the uh, uh, projects in the past with India exporters, and it was successfully uh, closed by, by helping the sites on site by giving them proper, uh, proper uh, root cause analysis, corrective action in prevention, preventive action plan, as well as fully successful uh, continuous improvement program. Okay. And, and one more thing, last thing, which okay. is, not, is that, uh, we do have um, made an effort to uh, uh, build our relationship with the local Indian government authorities uh, specified to the export development authorities. One is uh, marine product export authorities, which is called AMPIDA, as well as one is uh, agriculture and processed food products export development authorities. So the goal of TAG to reach out to them is to help them understand that we are here with the specialized skill set, specialized knowledge of the of the country of import, as well as uh, years of experience in the food industry from different sectors, and have a cultural connection with India. So we wanted to help Indian exporters for smooth trans uh, like transition of the movement of the containers and successfully utilizing the safe food in United States and Canada. Um, so I think this is something which is a, um, my personal wish is to actually help Indian exporters to be successful because having a detained container and a cost to handle FDA or CFIA import refusals is way too high and it's really disappointment for exporters. 
while they have a financial hit. And if um, if an exporter kind of wants a little help liaising with some of these federal regulators, TAG can help with that as well? Right. So that's a very good point because we do have a former FDA, not one, but we have former FDA executives at the helm of TAG. And our liaison services are possible to help to smooth and mediate communication uh, between the exporters and uh, government agencies. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So as we said, it, it can get fairly complicated when you're exporting to other countries, learning their regulations and still being sure that you're following all your own regulations. So really appreciate you coming on, Ranjit, to help explain some of the areas that may be of challenge and some of the areas that TAG can help. And for viewers, we want to thank you as well for joining us. And feel free to call on Ranjit or Koshal, our representative in India or any of TAG's other experts for questions or assistance. And for all, be sure to stay tuned and click subscribe to stay up to date on all things food safety and public health from TAG experts. Thank you again, Ranjit. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you all. All right. Bye. Bye.